everyone, Mac is back, and today I want to talk about the improved rewards that uh, the Alliance Mobilization uh, has in its uh, in each level that you uh, that you get. Uh, they've increased. Supposedly, they said they increased the rewards. So I just want to take a look at those and kind of go over some of the decisions that you have to that we have to make uh, depending on the level that you get to. So here are the uh, rewards that you get to choose uh, for each level. For you that aren't familiar with um, Alliance Mobilization or maybe somewhat new to the game, the uh, each level here, so like for level one, you get, to, you get to choose one of the three of these items. So choose wisely. Um, you'll just click on it, you'll check it. Um, actually kind of neat how they have this now where you can actually choose as you open up each level. So you can click on each level now. They've changed that where before you collected them all at the end. Um, so now you can each one that you have unlocked. So, so far we have uh, level six unlocked. So you can go down and you can choose the ones that you want. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at those and see what we have. Actually, maybe you can't do that. Yeah, there's a claim button there. So, um, so for, for the very first one here, You'll have the uh, eight hour speed ups, you have 2000 uh, motivation, you have 600 diamonds. So just for this one, for example, um, it's actually pretty good for a first level. I mean, you're getting eight hours of speed ups, which is pretty good, the motivation and the, uh, or the diamonds. So depending on what you're, depending on what you're trying to go for um, in your account is going to, uh, is, will depend upon which one you want to choose of these. If you're trying to go for some of those epic tokens, uh, then I would recommend getting these diamonds because you're obviously going to spend a lot of diamonds on those. If you're trying to increase your, uh, the quality of your equipment on your Lord, then motivation is really good for that. And if you're trying to do some research and get that up, uh, then this is another good one as well. Um, one of the big things about the motivation now, it becomes even more vital and more powerful, I think, uh, as an option when it comes to these lines of mobilization. And I say that it, um, it'll become more uh, vital for those people who have the, uh, the honor token or are using that because they're getting more of those drops in the, uh, against those rebel leaders. So just keep that in mind. For the second one, you, again, you're getting the motivation or you're getting a northern deserter chest. So if you need the northern deser deserters, then you're automatically going to get five of them here. Um, with the motive with 2000 motivation you can probably you know depending on how powerful you are you know you can probably you know uh, you know kill two uh, level threes so that's uh, that's actually pretty decent as well um, so actually probably if you can do that it's probably better than getting five of these chests but you just never know because you don't know what you're gonna get out of these um, you don't know what you're gonna get out of this either so um, th and th but this one you can choose which rebel leader to hit so that's why I think this would be more valuable and then just kind of going down. These are pretty basic. I mean, the ox meat is one thing that I wish they would get rid of. It's just like the venison stew. Really don't need that. You get those other places. But this is very good here as the elite uh, general token. Uh, that's something new that they've added to it. And I really like that uh, because they are they're, they're somewhat difficult to get to. You're, you're getting them in the some of the events and in the VIP shop. Um, but uh, if you can get them for free, I mean, it's only one. So it's not it's nothing too great. Uh, but it's something though. It's better than uh, it's better than the ox meat and the uh, the stew, for instance. And as we kind of go down, we can kind of see some of the similar stuff here. We have an increased damage against rebel leaders, which is a, is a nice little perk as well. The the precise transfers are expensive, so it's always nice to have some of those. Um, you know, the refined rough is good, and you know, we still have some of these boxes here and uh, truces and some more badge chests, which are good. But you don't know what you're going to get in these badge chests. But they all, but they these ones are common to rare, so um, that's always a good option there too. Again, if you're looking here, you're looking at the 3,000 motiva motivation because you get three of those thousands, and you get two of these 24-hour uh, truce, uh, truce, and the badge, one of these badge chests as well. So depending on what you're after, your farmer, obviously you're going to be, you're probably going to want to choose this one, or maybe even the motivation because you want to get some of those, uh, you know, different items increased or equipment increased. Um, you also get their um, advanced uh, skill raffle tokens for your dragon, which is all, which is decent as well. Um, you buy you can buy five of those uh, a day, so they are um, you know they're not as rare, they're not that rare or difficult to get because I always always have to consider that as well how difficult it is to get some of these things, uh, and then also based on your situation. 
as you can see, the next one, the Bash Chest, and now they have, they've added this random Books of Wisdom Chest. So you can get 12 of those. You can, um, some of the ways to get them are in the VIP shop. You can buy them daily for a discount. And you can also uh, destroy uh, level four and level five rebel camps and get some of those based on uh, the chest that you're going to have in there. And I've gone over that before. Um, if, you, uh, uh, if you haven't noticed that if it's a four hour chest, you're going to get 10 um, of these random books of wisdom. If it's an eight hour chest, you get 18 of the random books of wisdom. And if it's a 12 hour chest, you get 25. So depending on how, how long you're going to be away from the game, it's always a good idea to have uh, one of those chests in there for a, as long as you possibly can until you get back and, and to be able to claim it. So you keep on going down. Yeah, it's fairly simple here. Another Lord experience, which many people don't need anymore. Town archives. Um, they've added, it looks like they've added some shadow essence. I don't believe we've seen that in there before. Um, so four of those, you know, those, that's, you know, we can kill dragons to get those. So that's actually not, that's not, that's not too bad, I guess. If you're a farmer, there's a harvest scroll for you. And here's another one, which is a lot of uh, speed ups. And this seems to, for me, I would su suggest this would be the one that I, most people would get here. And then the next one, you're looking at talent archives. Hey, you probably don't want that. They get four of them, but most people have those. Um, you're not really, I don't think you're saving your, ta you're, you're saving your talents, but you're not changing them too, too often. But the precise transfers, I have three of those. It's pretty nice to have. And there you go. There's your common to rare badge chest again or maybe you want precise transfers or some diamonds there to actually buy some of those more epic tokens very interesting though how you how they have three of the shadow essence in this one at level 21 but you have four up here at level 18. Um, so it kind of makes you think you know i guess if you wanted to get all the uh shadow essence then obviously you're looking here you're looking at 10 of them just in this little piece right here um, I don't know if I would suggest doing that. I would, I'd rather have either the badge chests. The badge chests are, are very rare. I'll say a very rare. They're, they're more difficult to get. You know, you're paying for them in the VIP shop or maybe using Alliance coins or there's the, um, you know, the badges you're getting through the, uh, the wheel for the, um, uh, for the battlefield that comes around once a week. So you can get them there too. But I mean, three days of speed ups here. There's four days of speed ups there. Here's 8,000 motivation, which is really, really nice. Um, and then also something to consider as well. I mean, you're probably not going to be going through your buildings, upgrading your buildings too fast. Um, at least even the glory ones, you're probably just going to let them go through for the most part. But see, you have, you know, this is for, you know, universal for any speed ups. Uh, but then you have the research ones over here, which actually give you usually, usually I should say, give you more when it comes to alliance mobilization. And then you go down to honor banners, which this is, I, I think this is a no brainer. Everybody's going to have to choose the honor banner here if you get to, if you make it to level 23. Um, just because they're, you know, you, they're expensive in the VIP shop, but, uh, and, you know, you get them in, a, uh, in the, in some events as well, but, uh, they're a little more difficult to get. And it's always worth upgrading your, uh, glory level here. And then the very last ones here, you can see we got another 8,000 motivation, which is similar, the same thing on 22. And then you get a bunch of diamonds here. You can fit what 5,400 diamonds plus, you know, two more of the badge chest. So the increase here is not as drastic as you think. And I know that some people don't look at this as linear as they should, or they, they, they look at it linear as they shouldn't. And what I mean by that is that they, they think that these, uh, based on each level that you get to, that the rewards, you know, should increase. And it's more about the value, you know, there's, there's a value to each one, you know, based on, you know, what you're looking for. So if you're looking for the motivation, you know, to kill those rebel leaders, and that's actually really, really good now with that, if you have the honor token, um, especially if you don't know what badges you're going to get, and you could get two crappy badges here, you know, two wall badges. Well, who, who cares about that? So that's garbage. So I, I definitely don't recommend getting these ones, that, these badges, uh, uh, unless they're, unless the, and everything else is terrible. But so I would go with the motivation or the diamonds here. Um, so I'm trying to still get those epic tokens, so I'm probably going to go with the diamonds um, and just try to keep saving those up and using those. And then, like you know, like I said, I, th I think that most people are a little. I think it can be a little disappointed with uh, you know not getting an increase in the value as you go. But it, like I said, it just really depends on what you have and what you you know what you want. So um, whatever whatever account you have or whatever you know you're trying to push for you know if you're an infantry front line or maybe you want to go for the defense badges i mean i wouldn't suggest that I'd, st I'd still go for the attack ones you can you're going to get plenty of those defense ones as well but uh like i said i just wanted to kind of kind of go over this kind of give you a little bit of uh you know kind of advice about what you want to take um I, like i said i'm not in your account so i don't know which what you have this is my alt account so 
Um, I, for it, I would go something a little bit different than what you would. You know, for instance, for the very first one here, um, I'm probably gonna, I want to help out my alliance, so I'm going to go for the motivation. I'm going to go for the motivation again, and then for like these next ones here, you know, probably the, either the friendship or the speed ups or something like that. So, um, if you do have any questions or any comments, uh, you know, feel free to uh, leave them, and I will get back to you as uh, you know as soon as I can. But uh, until next time, Mac out.